What is a spirit animal and how do you find your spirit animal? Watch this video to find out what the meaning of indigenous spirit animals are and how you can find yours. I'm Mallory Graham, Anishinaabekwa from tribaltradeco.com. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for new videos every week on smudging the indigenous culture and native teachings. Have you ever wondered what your spirit animal is? Or have you ever felt drawn to a specific animal without being able to explain why? We've helped thousands of people understand and practice spiritual wellness through indigenous teachings, smudging, and new world teachings. Many people have asked us about spirit animals and how you go about finding yours. So watch this video right to the end so that you can learn about the significance of spirit animals and how you go about finding yours and what it means. Spirit animals, or also known as spirit animal guides, has very different meanings to different tribes and nations in the indigenous culture. But most often, the spirit animal is a teacher or a messenger that comes to us in the form of an animal. Native American spirit animals hold a very sacred place in First Nations and tribal culture. The first thing to know about finding your spirit animal is to first understand what a spirit animal is in the first place. Within any tribe, spirituality can take many forms, but it often speaks to the spiritual connection to the spirits around you and to yourself. The spirit animal enhances this connection by teaching us different lessons about ourselves and our environment. Traditionally, it is believed that we do not choose our spirit animal. Our spirit animal chooses us. The second point to know about finding your spirit animal is to know which spirit animal to choose. But like I said in the first part, Many traditional teachings have told us that it is said that our spirit animals choose us. So we don't actually choose our own spirit animal, it's not up to us. The creator sends the spirit animal that is meant for us and then chooses us. This creates a bond and allows our spirit animal to offer healing or medicine in the form of guidance, protection, power, or wisdom. I've also been told that we are not limited to one spirit animal in a lifetime. We can have multiple spirit animals come in and out of of our lives, each providing us with unique knowledge and gifts when we need them most. Have you ever felt a connection with a certain animal? Please share with us in the comments below. The third point to know about how to find your spirit animal is actually choosing or being chosen by your spirit animal. If you hope to find your spirit animal, then all you need to do is ask for that spirit animal to present itself to you. Spirit animal meanings vary and are extremely unique to each individual. When you're going about seeking what your spirit animal is, there are some questions that you can ask yourself. Have you ever felt drawn to a certain animal? Or have you ever had a favorite animal without being able to explain why? Does a certain kind of animal consistently or repeatedly show up in your life, either physically or in symbols or in dreams? Are you frightened of a specific animal or are you puzzled by a particular animal? If a specific animal comes to mind when you are answering these questions, this spirit animal might be trying to tell you something. One good thing to do is allow your spirit animal to come to you during meditation or some other state of altered consciousness. You can also try journaling about your past and present, things that are important to you and your core values. Your spirit animal should become clearer as you consider the depths of what makes you who you are. Now the fourth thing you want to do when finding what your spirit animal is, is to understand the meaning behind that spirit animal. In many Native American tribes and nations, animal totems, or clans is what we call them in First Nations communities, can serve as a reminder of our spirit animals. Animal totems are deeply sacred and can be passed down for generations. But even without a totem, it is possible to 
to be touched by your spirit animal in many ways. You might see it on a hike, pass a portrait in a gallery, or hear it sung about in your favorite song. You can use these encounters as a unique reminder of who you are and that your spirit animal is with you on your journey. Is your spirit animal the otter, playful, agile, and loyal? Or the turtle, wise and truthful? Only time, patience, and careful understanding can open the connection to your spirit animal guide. Now after learning these four ways to know how to find and connect with your spirit animal, you can now open the connection with your spirit animal with time, patience, and careful understanding. If you like this video, please let us know by hitting the like button. Tell us what you liked about it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.